Hey guys, it's Tony at McMahon uh, Alternators. Um, starting to get hot here in East Tennessee, and uh, figured I'm about to start getting these questions through email or social media or or just wherever about people freaking out about how hot their alternator is getting, and that it's so hot they can't even touch it. Well, no crap, because. It's 164 degrees right on the inside of it. And this is right after me driving from work 20 minutes with probably about 200, 300 amps being pulled on this alternator. So, yeah, it's going to be hot. Also, what's going to be hot is the mount that it's mounted on. It's 160 degrees as well, because it's mounted to the engine. The engine is 180 degrees. The exhaust manifold is 220, 30. The, the wiring harness is 160 degrees. The coil packs are 170. Let's see the positive of the battery terminal. Okay, so it's less, it's 123, 24. But seriously, guys, don't freak out. Who touches their alternator right after they've been driving it and wonder if it's broken or not working because it's the same temperature as the engine that it's bolted to? So think realistically. Let's look, the hottest place this would be would be right at the back. Let's shine this right in. That's 171 right there. And you can see as I move it across, right on the pulley, I mean, it's 150, 60, I, I mean, this thing, don't pay any attention to this right here, I'm just doing some weird stuff. Uh, yeah, it's weird stuff, it looks ugly, but you gotta do weird stuff in order to make cool stuff. So, again guys, it's getting hot, don't freak out. It's just the same temperature as the engine, it's... Let's see my cold air intake. It is, ooh, super cool, 120 degrees. So, yeah, guys, don't freak out. Let these things do what they do, and it's fine. As long as you're getting 14 plus out of your regulator on these, you're perfectly fine. Don't freak out. Enjoy it. You paid good money for a good alternator. It's going to do what it does as long as it's hooked up and installed correctly. Thanks, guys.